Hello. SkyTrack version 170 is going to be available soon. And I just want to uh, give a quick preview of the most significant feature of the new version. And that is a whole new um, interface for all SkyWatcher mounts, uh, a new legacy interface. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm very pleased with SkyWatcher and their willingness to work with me and, and uh, making this possible. In the past, we had trouble with SkyWatcher mounts being able to track continuously uh, smoothly, especially when the satellites started moving at a faster rate. Uh, the mounts weren't able to um, uh, change the sluice speed very smoothly at faster rates. That has now changed. And um, the interface is a legacy interface. It works through SkyWatcher's SynScan app. And in order to use this, you're gonna need the very latest version. So on the Skywatcher website, there's a new version called um, version number 2.0.12. So you're going to need that. The other thing you're going to need is with that version of um, uh, SynScan Pro, uh, you're going to need a generation, with what they call a generation three motor controller board on your mount. Um, some of the mounts will already have that if you have an older mount. Uh, you may not have that, and if you don't, um, there's still good news that you can uh, get uh, board upgrades um, from Skywatcher for that. Uh, I believe this um, this version of SynScan Pro won't run unless unless you have the required motor controller board, so that, that might be one way to tell. Um, the other thing that you're going to need is the latest firmware, uh, version 3.39. And uh, if that's not available for your mount yet, um, some some of the models of um, Skywatcher, that version isn't available yet, but uh, it will be within the next week or two is, is what I'm told. Um, so we're going to, uh, so this is the latest version. I'm gonna connect. I have a, an AZ GTI sitting beside me that you'll hear in a moment. And I'm going to connect it in equatorial mode just for this. This is an indoor task. We're not actually going to see it um, slewing. And then we just select either equatorial or um, alt as mode for the SynScan app. We don't need to connect a COM port because it's connecting to the app through uh, TCP. So we'll connect. And we'll try to find a, a good pass here to. And if we take a look at this one, we can see the meridian flip. So we just hit uh, start tracking. And I'm sure you can hear the mount whirring away in the background. And there we've acquired our satellite. And you can see it does an excellent job of tracking. The RMS is, is really low amongst the lowest I've seen with different mounts. And it just does a great job. And you know, this is a satellite at 51 degrees elevation. So it's moving fairly fast and um, it's just doing a great job. Um, Anyway, uh, I hope this, this version will be out in, in a week or two. It depends how much testing I can get done. I, I don't have a, a real equatorial mount to test it on. I just have this little uh, AZ GTI, which is a, a pretty neat little mount. And, um, and like I said, in a, within the next week or two, Skywatcher expects to have all those um, uh, firmware versions available for their various mounts. Here we're gonna we're gonna see a mer meridian flip here in a few seconds.
And again, I was I was really impressed with Skywatcher and her willingness to work with me. Uh, we had to do some troubleshooting with that uh, sin scan app back and forth, and uh, I'd, I'd uh, mention a problem, and within a day or two they had a fix for it. So it was it was great working with them. So there, picked it up again, and again, it's just doing a great job of tracking. So uh, really, really pleased with this and um, that all the Skywatcher um, mount users will, will have a good option now for tracking with uh, SkyTrack. So thanks for now.